Have you ever felt a presence guiding you, a whisper in your mind, or a sensation that you're not alone, even when there's no one around? These experiences, often subtle and deeply personal, might be more than just figments of your imagination. They could be communications from spirit guides, unseen yet powerful presences that play a pivotal role in our life's journey. As we embark on this exploration of the subtle yet profound signs of communication from spirit guides, it's essential to keep an open mind. The way these guides connect with us can vary greatly, from the whispers in our thoughts to the serendipitous events in our lives. Each sign, each message, is a piece of the puzzle in understanding the guidance and support our spirit guides offer. Sign 1. Feelings of being guided. Imagine a force, unseen yet deeply felt, influencing the crucial decisions of your life. This sensation, often described as being guided, is a profound and mystical experience many individuals encounter. It's as if an invisible presence gently nudges you towards choices that resonate deeply with your soul's journey. Dolores Cannon, a visionary in the study of spiritual phenomena, illuminates this concept further. She teaches that our spirit guides are always with us, subtly steering us towards our life purpose. These guides are not here to make decisions for us, but to gently push us towards paths that align with our soul's growth and evolution. They communicate in whispers, signs and feelings, often imperceptible to the busy, conscious mind, but deeply felt in moments of stillness and introspection. There are countless stories and testimonies from Canon's sessions that align with her insights into this gentle guidance. For instance, a person once shared how they felt an overwhelming sense of being drawn to a particular city without any logical explanation. Years later, in that city, they found opportunities and relationships that aligned perfectly with their deepest aspirations and life goals, something they hadn't realised until they reflected on their journey. Another testimony involves an individual who, against all logic, felt compelled to take a different route home one day, only to later learn they avoided a major accident on their usual path. Such stories suggest that these gentle nudges, these feelings of being guided, are more than mere coincidences. They are the subtle workings of our spirit guides. Canon's teachings encourage us to pay attention to these subtle nudges. The feeling of being guided is not always loud or clear, it's a soft murmur, urging us to listen closely and trust in the journey, even when the destination is not in sight. These moments of guidance are our spirit guide's way of communicating that we are on the right path, that the choices we make are in harmony with our higher purpose. As we become more attuned to these feelings, we begin to understand the profound connection we share with our guides and the universe. Sign two, random electrical interference. In the realm of spiritual communication, there lies a curious intersection between the metaphysical and the technological. It's a phenomenon that might seem like a modern day marvel, yet it has deep spiritual implications. Dolores Cannon's groundbreaking work in the field of spiritual phenomena sheds light on this intriguing aspect. According to Cannon, our spirit guides often interact with us in unconventional ways, and one such method is through technology. She posited that these guides existing in a different vibrational frequency can manipulate electronic devices to send us messages or to draw our attention. This idea opens up a fascinating dialogue between our physical world and the spiritual realm. These events often occur at pivotal moments in people's lives, aligning with Cannon's theory that spirit guides use these methods to offer guidance, comfort or affirmation. The random electrical interference serves as a subtle yet impactful reminder of the unseen support and guidance we have from the spiritual realm. It challenges our conventional understanding of how the spiritual interacts with the physical, suggesting that our world is far more interconnected than we might have imagined. Sign 3. Higher Levels of Intuition Intuition, often referred to as the sixth sense, 
is a profound channel of spiritual communication that transcends the boundaries of logical reasoning and physical senses. This innate, yet often overlooked ability, serves as a powerful tool in our spiritual journey, guiding us through the unseen currents of life. Dolores Cannon, in her exploration of the non-physical realms, emphasized the significance of intuition as a form of communication from our spirit guides. According to Canon, our spirit guides communicate with us through various non-physical means, with intuition being one of the most direct and impactful. She suggested that intuition is like an inner voice or sensation that is deeply connected to the higher self and the spiritual realm, providing guidance, insights and warnings that are beyond the comprehension of our everyday consciousness. There are numerous personal anecdotes that highlight the transformative power of heightened intuition. For instance, a person recounted a time when they had a sudden, inexplicable urge to visit a distant friend they hadn't seen in years. This intuitive nudge led to a reunion that was not only emotionally healing, but also opened doors to new, life-changing opportunities for both individuals. In another instance, an individual described a persistent intuitive feeling that something was wrong with a loved one despite no apparent signs. Acting on this intuition, they insisted on a medical checkup, which revealed a critical early stage health issue that was treatable due to the early detection. These instances demonstrate how intuition can lead to significant life changes or realizations. In line with Canon's teachings, such experiences suggest that our intuition is a direct line to the wisdom and guidance of our spirit guides. It's a tool that, when listened to and trusted, can navigate us through life's complexities and uncertainties. The key lies in learning to recognise, trust and act upon these intuitive insights, allowing them to guide us towards our true path and purpose. Sign 4. Spiritual Chills Spiritual chills, a phenomenon often experienced as an unexpected quick shiver or sensation of energy flowing through the body, stand out as one of the most intriguing and physical signs of spiritual communication. Unlike the normal response to cold or emotional stimuli, these chills are unique in their context and timing, often accompanying moments of spiritual significance or realisation. Dolores Cannon, in her extensive work on spiritual phenomena, sheds light on the interpretation of such physical sensations as messages from the spiritual realm. She posits that our bodies, sensitive instruments attuned to the energies around us, can perceive and react to the presence and communication of spirit guides or higher energies. These spiritual chills, therefore, can be seen as a physical manifestation of a spiritual encounter or a sign of affirmation from the universe or our spirit guides. Sign 5. Sudden Special Sense Aromas The sudden onset of familiar aromas without any discernible physical source is a phenomenon that many consider a significant spiritual sign. These aromas, often deeply personal and imbued with emotion or memory, can manifest unexpectedly, creating a bridge between our physical world and the spiritual realm. Cannon posited that sensory experiences, such as smell, can serve as a form of spiritual communication. According to her, these scents are not just random occurrences, they are messages from the spiritual realm, often delivered by spirit guides to provide comfort, evoke memories, or convey specific guidance. She also suggested that our sense of smell is particularly potent in triggering memories and emotions, making it an effective medium for spiritual messages. There are numerous accounts where specific aromas have played a crucial role in conveying messages from the spiritual realm. For instance, a person grappling with the loss of a loved one reported smelling their signature perfume in their room, despite there being no physical source for the scent. This experience provided them with a sense of comfort and reassurance, affirming their belief that their loved one was still with them in spirit. Such experiences suggest that these special sense aromas are more than mere coincidences. They are intentional communications from the spiritual world. They serve as a reminder of the interconnectedness of the physical and spiritual realms and the ongoing presence and influence of our spirit guides in our lives. By acknowledging and understanding the significance of these aromas, 
we open ourselves to a more profound level of spiritual communication and guidance. Sign 6. Phantom Touches The phenomenon of phantom touches, feeling a touch when there is no physical presence to account for it, is a deeply intriguing aspect of spiritual communication. These sensations can range from a gentle brush against the skin to the feeling of a hand resting on one's shoulder, often occurring in moments of deep emotional need or spiritual searching. Cannon taught that these unexplained touches are often manifestations of comfort or affirmation from our spirit guides. According to Cannon, our guides are always present, though typically unseen, and they can use subtle physical sensations as a way of communicating their presence and support. These touches are not meant to alarm us. Rather, they are gentle reassurances that we are not alone, that we are being watched over and guided by benevolent forces from the spiritual realm. The nature of these phantom touches can vary greatly depending on the individual and their circumstances. Some might feel a comforting hand during times of grief or stress, providing a sense of peace and support. Others might experience a gentle nudge or touch at a moment of indecision, serving as a guidepost towards the right path. Sign 7. Hearing music that is meaningful to you at a synchronistic time. Imagine you're going about your day, immersed in the usual routine when suddenly a song plays in the background, and in an instant, you're transported to another time, another place. The music triggers a vivid flashback, stirring deep emotions, reminding you of someone special, or evoking a cherished memory. Or perhaps a particular melody starts playing, and it resonates with something significant you've been contemplating like a creative project you've been postponing, a reminder to reconnect with nature, or simply an invitation to pause, breathe, and find joy in the present moment. These experiences are more than mere coincidences. They are often your spirit guides communicating with you through music. Music, with its profound ability to evoke powerful emotions and memories, is an ideal medium for your guides to send messages, offer guidance, or bring your attention to something or someone important in your life. The way music is brought to our attention can be as meaningful as the song itself. Sometimes it might feel like your guides are even influencing the electrical equipment, causing a particular song to play at just the right moment. This intersection of technology and spiritual communication adds an intriguing layer to the experience. So when you hear a song that strikes a deep chord within you, especially if it feels serendipitous or synchronistic, pay close attention. Whether it's a song that brings back memories, offers a warning, or encourages you to pursue a path or idea. There's a strong possibility that this musical encounter has been orchestrated by your spirit guides. It's their way of using the universal language of music to reach out, connect, and guide you on your journey. Sign 8. Suddenly feeling intense emotions. At times, our emotional landscape is unexpectedly stirred by intense feelings that seem to emerge out of nowhere. These emotions can range from an overwhelming sense of joy to a profound sadness, often catching us off guard. But what if these sudden intense emotions are more than just random mood swings or unexplained reactions? What if they are messages from our spirit guides? Consider the moments when you have experienced a sudden burst of emotion that led to a realisation or epiphany. It might be a wave of joy that makes you realise the importance of a decision you've been putting off. Or it could be an unanticipated feeling of regret or sadness that alerts you to a mistake you've made or a change you need to implement in your life. Sometimes these emotions can be even more mysterious such as feeling an intense sense of sadness or grief for someone, even before receiving any news of their distress or passing. These experiences suggest that our spirit guides might be using our emotional frequency as a channel to convey important messages or insights. Our spirit guides often communicate with us by aligning or adjusting our emotional frequencies. By inducing these intense emotions, they aim to draw our attention to something significant, a life lesson we need to learn, a path we should consider, 
or a person we should reconnect with or think about more deeply. When you experience such intense emotions, it's a cue to pause and listen closely. Reach out to your spirit guides and ask for clarity or guidance. Your openness and willingness to understand the message behind these emotions can encourage your guides to reveal their insights more clearly. This connection is a profound reminder of the spiritual support system that guides and influences our journey, often in ways we might not immediately comprehend but can deeply feel and experience. Sign 9. White bright lights appearing in photos. An intriguing and often unexpected sign of spiritual presence is the appearance of white bright lights or orbs in photographs. These phenomena, typically captured as glowing circles or spheres of light, can carry profound spiritual significance. When you snap a photo and later observe these bright white orbs, consider the possibility that you might have captured more than just a physical moment. While skeptics might attribute these orbs to reflections or the camera's flash, those attuned to spiritual explanations might see them differently. In the realm of spirit communication, these orbs or lights are often interpreted as the presence of a high-frequency spirit guide. The appearance of these bright lights in photos is not a common occurrence and can often be overlooked or rationalised as a mere photographic anomaly. However, for those open to spiritual interpretations, these orbs might represent a more deliberate attempt by spirit guides to make their presence known, especially if other subtler methods of communication have not captured your attention. It's suggested that when spirit guides choose to appear in this form, they are utilising a method that is unmistakable and visually striking to convey their presence and guidance. The appearance of these orbs can be particularly significant if they show up in photos taken during significant moments, in special locations, or during times when you have been seeking guidance or reassurance. These white bright lights in photos invite us to consider the possibility of a spiritual dimension that occasionally intersects with our physical world in visible ways. They serve as a reminder that our spirit guides are always with us, often working in ways that go beyond our usual understanding and perception. Sign 10. Vivid Dreams and Visions In the context of spiritual communication, vivid dreams and visions are not just nocturnal meanderings of the subconscious. They are potent conduits for messages from the spiritual realm. Dolores Cannon's extensive work in the field of spiritual exploration underscores the profound significance of dreams as a bridge between the conscious mind and deeper spiritual truths. According to Cannon, during our dream state, the usual barriers of our logical and waking consciousness are relaxed, if not completely lowered. This state allows for an unfiltered flow of spiritual communication from our spirit guides. Vivid dreams and visions that occur in this state can be laden with symbols, emotions, and insights that transcend our everyday experiences. These are not random images, rather they are carefully orchestrated messages, laden with meaning and purpose. Vivid dreams often carry a clarity and intensity that set them apart from ordinary dreams. They may leave a lingering emotional residue upon waking, a sign that points to their significance. These dreams can be precognitive, offering glimpses of potential futures, or they might provide solutions to current problems, comfort during times of distress, or clarity in moments of confusion. In both vivid dreams and visions, the common thread is the communication of something essential and profound from the spiritual realm to our conscious self. These experiences act as reminders of the non-linear nature of reality and our interconnectedness with a larger, more mysterious universe. In conclusion, as we reflect on these signs, we're reminded of the deep connection we share with the spiritual realm. Our spirit guides are always with us, offering guidance through the complexities of life and helping us align with our soul's purpose. By remaining open and attentive to these signs, we deepen our understanding of this connection, enriching our spiritual journey and our understanding of the universe. In embracing these experiences and recognising the presence of our spirit guides, 
we open ourselves to a world of profound wisdom and guidance, a reminder that we are never truly alone in our journey through life.